too small in here. I can't fit anymore. Well, well, who is it? Who is trying to get out into the world? You can't fit anymore, so get out. Mummy, is it you? Yes, it's me. Come, come. Welcome to your pelican family. We all live together on planet Earth. Well, I still can't see much. And I'm so hungry. I will tell you and everyone who's watching everything you need to know about the world. Meanwhile, once your brother hatches from his egg, I'll get both of you some food. There are many pelicans in the world. We are Australian pelicans, but we don't live only in Australia. We also live in other parts of the world. We always live together in a flock. Did your brother hatch already? Yes, but mummy, the people watching us don't think we're very pretty when we hatch. That's not true. I think you're beautiful. They say we look like pluck chickens. They couldn't possibly mean it, could they? Pelicans are indeed beautiful. Mummy, the neighbor's baby's hatched as well. Stay with the others and I'll get something to eat. Okay, Mummy. My brother and I will wait for you. Hurry up, we are very hungry. I'll be right back with some yummy food for your little beaks. Pelicans like to hunt together. We hunt as a team. We swim in the water in a flock, making noise with our feet and wings. That's how we drive the fish into the shallows, where we easily catch them. Other animals wonder, who the heck just came over here? Don't worry, there's enough room here for everybody. Pelicans have the perfect beak for fishing. On the end of our beak, we have a special hook to hold extra slippery fish. We trap our food inside our huge sacks. We dive in and use our beaks as a landing net. This is what a well-coordinated fishing team looks like. It reminds me of a pelican water ballet. Just watch and marvel as we fill our sacks with water and fish. Since we must feed our babies, as they can't eat solid food, we mush up our catch in our sacks. Then, when we return, we can feed our babies right from our boots. My sack is quite full. Now I have to hurry back with all this yummy fish. Look how easy it is for us to fly. That's because we have huge wings that stretch out over our very light bodies. We glide through the air quite smoothly and naturally. Flying's as easy for us as walking and running is for people. Mummy! Mummy, where are you? We were afraid that you wouldn't return. 
and that maybe you went to some other baby chick that you like more than us. Wake up! Mummy's here and she's got some food! Mummy, we're so glad you're back. When we sit on you, we can hide from the sun. There are many other young ones. Some are older than you. And there are also some mums still sitting on their eggs. Those who have to fly off to hunt must be on the lookout for those who would eat the eggs back in the nest. And could anyone have eaten me when I was in my egg? No, because I was watching you all the time. And if someone had tried, I would have knocked them over the head with my beak. You would fight for me like that? That's what every mum would do for her chick. Yum! Mummy, you caught a very tasty fish. I want to be able to catch fish like you. Stop talking and eat. If you don't keep your food in your sack, your sack could dry out. Mummy! Mummy, little brother is teasing me. And humans keep saying that we are a bit ugly. I think humans are ugly. They don't even have a beak. You can't fish without a beak. Ah, humans. They have no floating things on their legs. They can't swim over the water like we do. And they don't have any feathers. Floating thingies? You mean webbed feet? You're really quite the babbler, aren't you? I'm not really a babbler. I just don't understand things yet. Humans don't need beaks or webbed feet. They don't live on the water or in the air. They live on dry land. They're not pelicans. But there are many other creatures living here that look different from us. But they still have beaks and feathers. Don't they all eat fish and fly in the air? No, there are many birds you haven't seen yet. Other birds living here on the shore eat almost everything that lives in the ocean. See, each bird has its chick and each one looks different from the others. Don't forget that even though our shapes are different, we all live in the same world. And which bird is better? Is it us, Mummy? No one is better or worse. We are all the best. Everyone is absolutely unique. The fact that everyone is unique makes us all absolutely perfect, just as we are. So, the humans are not ugly, but neither am I. No, no one is ugly. We're all just different. Just because you like something doesn't mean that someone else will like it. I got hungry again from all that talking. Bring me some fish! I want some fish! Where are my fish? Don't wolf it down! See? You can learn from our neighbours the proper way to build a nest for an egg. The nest must be filled with something soft, like grass straws, so the egg won't crush sitting on the hard ground. 
You must look around and use whatever you can find. Did you do that so my brother and I wouldn't crack when we were eggs in the nest? That's right. Sometimes there's not enough grass around for everyone, so you might have to wrestle your neighbor for it. But in the end, everything goes well, and everyone has a nest ready for their eggs. Look at the neighbor. Look how big he is. When we reproduce, our new young ones eventually mature into new parents. Young ones learn from other pelicans how to hunt, walk, and fly. When they are skilled enough, they happily join our flock, and together we hunt as one big family. Fall asleep, Mummy is still talking. That's enough talk for one day. We can continue tomorrow. So say goodbye to everyone, and maybe we'll all see each other some other time. All right, Mummy. Goodbye everyone, and don't forget your friends, the pelicans. <laughs>